big hello to my subscribers. I thought I'd do a tutorial on Opmore Liebert's Surrender to Love. <laughs> Okay, so the, the first chord is uh, a little mini A minor triad at the fifth fret, which sounds like this. But what Otmore Liebert does is he plays the open D string first, so you get this. That sound. That's your first chord, mini chord. Then what he does then is he goes down to an A minor shape down here and he does a hammer on on the first fret of the second string, which sounds like this. So you have this. So I'm playing a full A minor there. I'm not playing the high note. It's a hammer on on the first fret of the second string. So I'll start again. So that's the first part. And the second bit now is he plays the same chord again here, but we put our for me, I tend to use my pinky, which will be on the seventh fret of the first string. So we have this, that chord there. And then the next chord after that is an A minor again. So we're just holding that little mini battery there, as we call it. So you've got this. And then we are playing on the open fifth string like so. So from the beginning. And then. So that's the first chord, which then opens up into the lead part. We then play a D minor shape, which looks like that. And we play it with the open D, so you get that. So you get that sound. So if I was to bury it properly, that's your full D minor. This is like a little mini version. So we have this. So open seven from the third, six on the second string, and fifth on the first string. So we have this. And this is where the melody comes in, so we go. And back to the A minor. Thank you. 
intro as such. Then we come into the main part there where it starts to kick off with the, the drums and the bass come in. But in this case, we won't be having any of that. It'll just be a case of me just playing some chords with some solo notes over the top. So then what we would then do is we would play the main, the intro lead, which would go. So it's. And then we're playing a D minor seven chord there. So the intro is. For those who don't know what a D minor 7 chord is, it is basically a D minor chord, which is, and then you're taking your pinky off, and you have this more jazzier sound of D minor 7th. D minor, D minor 7th, just taking your pinky off. So, so they start again. So that's the basics of it. The way I play it is is I tend to do sort of like a, a tap and a thing with my thumb, where I sort of just strap across the strings, so I go. As you can see. So it's sort of like a, um, it's that kind of, so you get these sort of, you, if you imagine it tangos. So it's there's the idea, and then the next part is it goes to an A minor seventh, which is basically an A minor, and you take your pinky off again. So we've got. basically making that up as we go along if you listen to the record it's very similar but not quite the same this is <clears throat> this is my take on it it's it's not exact to the original this is my my take so start by play it again so you start with I tend to always rather than having my fingers there and playing the, the single notes first I find that a bit of a bind so for me I just tend to bury Barry all across the fifth fret and play the single notes like this. Because your fingers are already there, you're not having to place the chord there. When you're doing it this way, sorry, and then you're having to put your feet, find the chord. But if you barry all the way across, your hand's almost there, if you know what I mean. So, so it's, it's there, it's hardly. Hardly any movement, less effort, less to think about. As you can see, I've, I've added a few little embellishments of how I feel it should go. 
So once it's gone round there again, we go, the, the next two chords are F and E7, and then E7 sharp 9, which is that flamenco sounding chord, which is, you know, that this one. So we've got E, but I play E7. So, so we've gone... You can you can play single notes, or sometimes I tend to do a bit of a, which is just me playing. It's entirely up to you. So basically, this is playing the open fifth string, seventh fret with the third finger, fifth fret with the first finger, and we play. Basically, putting our pinky on the eighth fret of the fifth string, which forms an F, an F inversion. Again, this isn't exactly to the record. This is my interpretation of the uh, of the song. It's just basically what I threw in. So. I sort of just sort of go start off like this. Basically, that is the song. Summarise the chords are uh, D minor, A minor, uh, a min a D minor, sorry, A minor, D minor, or should I say D minor seventh? Then we go down to the F. Seven sharp nine. You can put the red cow on it if you like, which is what I do. Any questions, feel free to ask. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, thank you very much for subscribing. And for those who don't subscribe, if you would like to subscribe, just 
press the button.